What's up everybody, George here from GP Lifestyle and in today's video guys I'll be going over 5 pants every guy should own. This is part 2 of my wardrobe basics series. And as always gentlemen, there are timestamps linked in the description as well as links to all clothing used in this video as well as some freebies and bonuses for you guys. Without further delay, let's get started. Number 1 on this list is non-distressed jeans. Yes, I said non-distressed. I know I love my distressed jeans and I probably wore them to death and out of style, but these are non-distressed because these, they're gonna go with everything. Whether you wanna dress up a little, whether you wanna wear something super cattly, whether you wanna wear a pair of dress shoes with them or wear a pair of rugged masculine boots, you're going to need a non-distressed pair of jeans just laying around your closet because you never know when you're gonna need something super casual to wear. And that's a little bit more put together and a little bit more grown up. Now, when it comes to choosing colors, I gotta go with classic black, Black, either go with a nice pair of gray non-distress and light wash blue non-distress. This is going to give you the majority of styles out there and for me personally you can get as many looks with these as you can. You can just dress it up a little bit like a, like a dress shirt, a nice sweater and a nice pair of boots or a flannel and jeans. Awesome! This is even more of a country look. There's no country fashion out there. Well. Here you go. And even with the gray one, throw a nice brown pair of boots on him and a nice simple black crew neck sweater over it. And you're looking dynamite. There is basically, this is a limitless to the amount of styles that you can get out of these and whatever dress code that you like to follow. It is basically a no brainer. Number two on this list, I'm giggling because it's distressed jeans. Yes, I just said that, you know, no more distressed jeans, but I love these because it adds a layer it has it adds like a dimension of style, like an accessory would to your outfit. Now hear me out. Plain jeans going with a bit of a casual, more rugged look, they do look great, but having a fine amount of distressing, not, not something that looks like it went through an industrial cheese grinder, but something like just the slits at the knees or a little bit of a patches, but especially those slits at the knee for me, I like them so much because it adds a little bit more to the outfit. It's not super plain and basic it's, and safe. It's just, it's a little bit more, you sort of make it your own because you probably chose those pairs because of you like the, how the distressing is versus another pair. And a lot of these things you can add more dimensions to an outfit by having a distressed pair versus a non-distressed pair like you would with accessories and this is why i love having distressed jeans for me go with a pair of blue jeans that are distressed just for me at the knees with a little bit of ripples around it look great and black with just the slits at the knee are awesome and i do have both of these at gplifestyle.ca which you guys want to check it out again link in the description number three on this list we're growing up a little bit and that is trousers not suit pants Suit pants is what you say when you don't know what they are, but trousers are the way to say them correctly. When it comes to trousers, what more do I need to be saying? There go with a full formal suit, but you can also dress them down if you have a little bit of no hand. For me, this is just a great alternative to, again, jeans, because with these, they're made a little bit different. They're usually a broadcloth and cotton blend or even a polyester and broadcloth blend. But what I like about these is that you can wear them almost every season except winter in most cases unless you would throw on a pair of long johns with it but again you have fall spring summer fashion for with one item and when it comes to trousers definitely go with the classic black trousers if you have a black suit but go with gray but go with gray checkered i like these because it has a little bit more of an artsy style to them they're not super plain and safe and they're not super out there like side stripe trousers which i think just a little bit ridiculous and trendy. This is classy. This is formal and this is going to help you dress up your casual looks a little bit better and help you dress down some of your super dapper wear looks to find a nice smart casual or a bit of a smart dressed up. I don't even think that's a term. Look and just adds a little bit more dimensions to your wardrobe and going with black and gray minimal and it's going to match with everything. So it's a no brainer when it comes to colors. Number four on this list, a lot of people say are out of style, like distressed jeans, but I, I disagree, and that is joggers. And when it comes to joggers, there are a million different styles out there. There are super baggy ones, super athletic ones, the drop crotch, awful ones. But when it comes, in my opinion, when it comes to joggers, you need something that is fitted and that is versatile when it comes to a casual style and a bit more of a streetwear look. Now for me personally, I'm going to be biased and I'm going to recommend the joggers available on my store because of their pinstripe design. With the pinstripe jogger, especially my store, we took 
high fashion, not really high fashion, just dressed up looks and pair of something that is super casual to give you an awesome look. Because with these, they're super minimal. You can match them with everything. Black, gray, navy, blue are your choice. But if you're not a fan of pinstripe joggers, which I totally get, a lot of people think it's a little bit more trendy, but I see the potential in them. Definitely go with plain, just fitted black gray or navy blue or go with the side stripe ones i love the side stripe ones too but i wear them for more of a athleisure look rather than something a little bit more casual number five on this list is the men's fashion world's saving grace and that is chinos let's all take a minute to pray to the holy chino now without being so much of a dick here i do love chinos i do love them myself because again they are a step up from wearing jeans and they're a step down from wearing full suit trousers. For me, this is an excellent middle ground where you can experiment with a bit more a smart casual style, combine a little bit of your casual street wear, look in a little bit more your dapper wear, formal wear, and you have a nice balanced outfit. For me, when it comes to colors, definitely go with either the cream khaki ones, they're classic, they're always gonna be in style, and I still don't have a pair, I don't know. My old pair that I wore from like in high school, they, they no longer fit me. Your boy gained a little bit of weight, but, you know, it happens. Definitely go with navy blue, sheer versatility. Again, you can dress it up a little. And definitely go with olive green because these are the ones that I personally like to dress down and color block it a little to have something awesome. Hey, there you guys have it. That is part two of my wardrobe's basics here with five pants that every guy should own. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel because on this channel, I help you. Yes, you become the best version of yourself by teaching you how to dress better, how it'll look better, and ultimately how to be better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be on the lookout for part three of the wardrobe series where they're either going to do sweaters, jackets, or, or, or shoes next. Be on the lookout for that one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.